Hey what is up you guys, you know my name. And if you do not, well, I guess I will tell you. I am Sub-Zero Xtabyte and I am coming to you with another video. I know it is a different environment than you might be used to. But today we are helping this poor soul build a new house. I mean you all saw the house that he had built himself. So I thought I would just be the hospitable guy that I'm and make sure that he knows his ways around building homes. Just so that he does not have to hire an illegal immigrant to do so. Because that would make Donnie J. Trump an even more angry man than he already is. And we do not want to see a mad little Donnie. He might start slamming his tiny fists around. So sir if you would just come out of that hole. Thank you very much. So now we can proceed to the actual building part, so please Mr. Noob, watch carefully and try to learn as much as you can from this little tutorial. Even though it is pretty much going to be all over the place, because you know how short my attention span is. With that aside, you might be able to learn a little bit from this yourself, because you know, I am not sure that all of you are aware of how things work around Minecraft. I bet that you are all professionals in Roblox. But you know when it comes to Minecraft most people usually lack a typical type of creativity. Or rather a bit of logical when it comes to building a great home for you and your future family in Minecraft. Which is highly important. I mean you do not want to get surprised by a ton of creepers when you are just trying to sleep in your cozy bed made for one with your white pillow and red bed sheets. So just to make sure that none of that happens to you, keep your eyes open during this video, and make sure that you pay attention. Alright so now that we have the base of the house done, we can start moving on to the walls. And you want to make sure that they are sturdy because you do not want to wake up in the middle of the night because the south wall of your house has collapsed after an ant tried crawling onto it. So just make sure that you get the right materials, and try to build it in a way where there are as little weak points as possible. Because I swear to you, if I had gotten a hundred dollars for every time that a creeper was able to blow through my wall with just one explosion, I would by now probably have around, well, Let's say 300 bucks. And you now, you can do the math on it yourself. I believe in you. But just make sure that everything is nice and ready to take on everything that is coming to tear it down. Build it like the Great Wall of China, and decorate it a little. Just so that it still looks like an inviting place, otherwise no other Minecraft players will drop by for a piece of apple pie. If you know what I am saying. But like I said make sure that you put some decorations on there. Because you do not just want to live in an empty fortress. This might become your little fortress of solitude. But you do not want it to look like that. No one has to know that you are in here by yourself feasting on whatever you still have left over from Thanksgiving and maybe even Halloween. And that is okay. I mean food is food and candy is also food. But you want it to look like there is a successful person living here. So just decorate it a little bit. Do not overdo it. Otherwise people will get intimidated by your insane gardening skills. And I have had that before in the past. And that is not a fun experience at all. I mean, I have got these green fingers. These magical hands that make everything that they touch look green and bright and beautiful. Which sometimes creeps people out. Especially when I go clothes shopping and I want to buy this red t-shirt, but then I touch it because I want to try it on and it turns green. I am blessed with a cursed people, luckily it is my favorite color. Or maybe green has actually become my favorite color just because I see it all the time when I touch random objects. I guess that we will never know the true answer to this question, but that is okay for now. I mean, we are still building this house, so there is no need for panic right now. But people if you have already learned a thing or two, Make sure that you leave a comment down in the comment section, tell me what you may have learned, or just simply leave a like, or do both. Maybe throw in a sub if you have not already and let's finish Mr. Noob's house. And I am not trying to insult him, his name is actually Noob, so I am actually being really polite by calling him Mr. Noob. Am I not just a delight of a person? I mean look at me, helping out the people that need help with some things in their lives. That is why I am here to give some people a chuckle, and for some to simply build them a beautiful house that they have always wanted. And that is why Mr. Noob will be grateful for the rest of his noob life. Okay that might have been a little mean I guess. So I just want to touch up on this what I am doing right now. If you are making your roof like this, so it is a pretty basic design. I mean look at this. This is as easy as it gets around here. But when you are using these whole blocks, Make sure to flare it up a little with these cobble slabs just to give it that little extra finesse. It will just make your roof look that much better when you are done. It will look like it is one big cohesive effort instead of just some big blocks thrown down up on it. But if you do now want to use these whole blocks, 
you can always just use stairs as a great looking alternative. I prefer a roof made out of little stairs, just for the aesthetics, but I guess whatever floats your boat will be good since everyone has their own preferences and likings. So look at this, when you put all these big blocks down instead of the half slabs, it is just going to look way too basic for me. Maybe you like it, but I am just going to build whatever I think looks best for my friend noob here. So right now half slabs it is. But let's get back to teaching. Alright noob, take that block. I know you can do it. And you are going to be making the floor out of that wood. So I can finish up with the roof, while you are doing the floor. I mean teamwork makes the dream work right. And we will be done in half the time that we originally put out for this. So I trust you on this. I mean you cannot really screw this thing up. And otherwise I will fix it. So just go to town little buddy. Now people we go back to the roof part of this awesome house build. So pretty much do it like I do. If you want it to look awesome of course. But that might just be me. You just want to do these slabs every other row of blocks. Like so. And then at the end you can just decide for yourself if you want to make the house boring like all of the others and just make it like this all the way to the top. Or you can be a cool dude like myself and make a little something on the top that will make it awesome. And like I said I want to make sure that this house is awesome just so that my friend Mr. Noob here can live in this house for a long time and even after 10 years there will be survivors strolling past this house and they will be like, man that guy has a really big cool and awesome looking house I would wish that we had that but of course they do not because this house belongs to my friend mr noob and i swear that if you try to scare him out of this house i will come for you myself and believe me you do not want to mess with me or my friends because if you have ever seen any of my workouts then you will know that i am basically bruce banner and then by that i do not mean the hulk but just Dr. Bruce Banner before he turns into the green bulk of muscle. I wish I had that kind of physique, but I do not. But I can still beat someone his butt without even flinching. But back to my original point, just do not mess with him when he is living here. Alright thanks for digging a hole here Mr. Noob. I guess that we can all still learn a couple of things. I mean Mr. Noob here has not been playing for that long. And look at this. He has just completed his first floor. I mean he could easily get into the carpenter business. But would you just look at this place I mean have you ever seen something that was this good looking? And then by that I mean house related stuff. Alright people. But now it is time to decorate the place. Make sure that this house will feel less like just four walls and a roof and more like a home. So how about we start with something like a kitchen? I mean food is comforting right? At least for most people so if we can make a decent kitchen that way Mr. Noob can cook for himself and he will enjoy his stay at my nice little condo here just that little more. So let's see we got that kitchen down and now just put some storage chests down so he can lock away all of his belongings and make sure that he can keep this place neat and clean and that he does not make an insane mess of this place because then he will get in trouble with me. And now let's move on with me people. To finish this humble abode off I will put up some green decals that will just make this place pop. I mean when you walk in here right now, you might think like, yeah this is a pretty legit house. But with all of these green flags, you will be more like, wow oh my god look at this place this is straight up amazing and I wish that I had this house to live in especially those green decals. And of course I am not fooling around here. So now to make this guy a little place to sleep so he can put his lazy butt on the bed every night and sleep until noon. Like most of us probably will. Because that is what life is all about. And look at this thing. If this is not the best way to display any of your pieces of armor, then I do not know what is. When people see this, they are not going to be messing around with you. I mean now they know that you are packing heavy armory, they know that you are packing heat people. So this is all looking pretty alright as of right now does it not? I mean look at this place. Now the only thing that I will still need to add is some books. Or a little sort of a library type deal. Just so he can show off his intelligence. Even though he has probably never read a book. Once you have a freaking bookcase. All the people will think that you are smart to the bone people. That is first class deceiving right here with y'all boy Sub-Zero. And I am not fooling around people. This is a master's class. And not only that, but I hope that you all have been paying attention. 
because this professor is going to be giving you guys the biggest test of your life after this video is done just like it should be and no I am not a huge pain in the butt for doing that I am just making sure that you guys are paying attention to my golden tips and tricks because that is all that you are going to need for when you are building your own house but make sure that you follow a couple of the rules that I just made up for you because it will definitely benefit you when you are trying to build your first house or you are just not getting past that dirt cabin phase because I am not stranger to being stuck I mean I was looking for a place to put these bookshelves and I had no idea where to put them in this room that would make them stand out and not interfere with the rest of the room and BAM look at me digging a hole in the ground for a little underground library type thing at least that is what it is supposed to become but then again this is pretty much unknown territory for me so bear with me while I try and make this thing worth my time because I am not sure if this will even work after the fact but I guess that we can all still learn and we can also learn by doing that is a good thing if you ask me I mean I had no idea how to build a spiraling staircase into a basement and I actually still do not know how but at least I am trying to find a way that will make it worthwhile because when I am done I will not only have a basement filled with books for my little buddy Mr. Noob but I will also have gained a new skill for my imaginary skill belt and the skill belt is basically an imaginary tool belt with all of my skills on there so now whenever someone asks me if I can build them a really cool looking basement or man cave type thing then I can simply accept that offer and I will make them their man cave just like they did it in the old days. But now let's see how I'm going to make the space good for a little library. Because just look at the possibilities that we have got here right now. We can make this as big as we want or just make it really compact. And I'm going to go with a little more of a compact space just so that I can really fill the room with these bookshelves. That way it will look like Mr. Noob has way more books than he actually has. That is just a little mind trick that I can pull which will make this project a lot better than I originally thought. I actually thought that I was just going to make a little cabin for him. But then I thought, no I am not going to do only a half good of a job just because I am lazy. I was like I am going to make sure that I will make this a learning experience for myself and mostly for you guys. Now by doing this I can show all of you guys who might be struggling with building a decent looking house, with a decent amount of resources how to build a house like this. And of course you can just go into Minecraft and really copy my house that I made here. But how about you go check more videos, and really make sure that you learn different styles of houses, so that you can improvise on your own. And you can eventually make your own dream house just by thinking off of the top of your head. Use those brains and make sure to use your imagination, that way you can actually build whatever you want for yourself instead of just remaking something that someone else has already built. And if you ask me, that is what a game like Minecraft is all about. Using your imagination and making sure that whatever it is you do, you can do it on your own and you can actually be proud of your creations because at the end of the day, you have to be proud of your own work. Alright noob move out of the way and I will place this magical looking book stand. I mean does this not just look straight up amazing? I am actually really blown away by how this has turned out. Not literally of course, since I am still standing here. But look at this place. This is straight up amazing. And look at how the basement turned out. I actually feel like I am in one of those extreme home makeover episodes. So please move that bus and just look at what we have gotten ourselves into. Just to think that 10 minutes ago all of this was just a mess. A literal dirt heap with nothing in it. Just some basic shelter against the elements. And now this has turned into a place where you can raise your children and read a book or two or maybe three or actually probably a lot more because there are around a thousand books laying in that man cave. But even with this outer part of the house, I will just turn this into a little bit of a self-sustainable farm so you can actually make your own food like bread and fruits and that type of stuff without having to wander into the wild because I think that most of us will know how tough it can be to actually survive out in the wild and maybe you cannot find your way back home and I mean that is just horrible so this way Mr. Noob here is able to live life on the down low he can just rest all day cook some good food and actually make sure that he does take his time with things because Minecraft can be pretty stressful sometimes I am aware of that so I think that with this little humble abode you can live life to the fullest without much stress just hang out a little and all of that good stuff even when he still has pretty much no clue about what he has to do in this game but I hope that he has watched me closely and I hope that you guys did the same because videos like this I mean they do not make themselves 
and they are a lot of hard work so make sure so make sure that you can get into that a little bit and you can see how happy Mr. Noob is with his new place and I will definitely see you in the next one.